It's game day in Accra. As Team Ghana arrives at Independence Square, players are laser focused on the job at hand. Win their first international match. When you get out there, you are not going to see physically challenged people. You are going to see top class athletes. An opportunity to prove themselves against a formidable Nigerian team. It's a moment these men have been training for and praying for since they first rolled on to a soccer field. A showdown between two soccer-loving nations. The weight of this historic day rests squarely on the broad shoulders and hardened hands of these men. Ghana versus Nigeria. Is there a bigger game rivalry on the African continent? There is history between the two. There is passion between the two. Once they start playing, you don't see disability here. You see athletes, okay? And they're going to be, they're going to be pumping at each other. It's going to be a hot-blooded, aggressive game. It's a lesson for most of them, and it's excitement for them. You can see on their faces. Yes, they are tensed because it's Nigeria, Nigeria, Ghana. I won't pretend to say they are happy. They are scared, yes. But we are, we are, we are looking out for a wonderful game. And that's exactly what both sides delivered. A wonderful display of the beautiful game. This is skate soccer and you just can't buy that. Tied 1-1 at half-time. Ghana huddles to figure out how to combat Nigeria's notorious tactical skills. Playing Nigeria is no joke. You could see from the beginning of the game, they were showing glimpses of what they are capable of. But our guys also showed that for, for the first time, they can put a stop to Nigeria's attack and it happened. Captain Garib Asani turns out to be Ghana's secret weapon. His sheer will and determination serves to rally his teammates. The talk of Gariba, he's the newest sensation. He touches the ball, he's the Cristiano Ronaldo of skate soccer in Ghana. With the clock winding down, Nigeria attempts to match Team Ghana.